is going to compromise its position, then David Davis and other prominent champions of Brexit have long thought it'll be strong-armed into it by the likes of Volkswagen and BMW in a desperate attempt to protect their lucrative UK market. That's the theory. I called Berlin to check if it stood up. I'm Kurt Christian Scheel, Managing Director of BDA, the Association of the German Automotive Industry. The German color industry is sort of described by some in the UK as the knight in shining armor that is going to come riding into the situation and save it. He's going to say, we sell so many cars to the UK. Listen, Germany. Listen, EU as a whole. You're going to have to do a special deal with the UK. Are you going to do that? Well, I mean, we are not the ones who make the deal. It's the European Commission doing the trade negotiations and uh, it's the EU who will finally have to uh, close the deal. We try to explain uh, to our partners that uh, the closer trade relationships are, the better for both sides. But we also explain to both partners that the integrity of the single market is of utmost importance for us and for us as an industry as a whole. So the knight with shining armor may be uh, not the right metaphor in this regard. Translation, the UK is important to us in the German car industry, and we hope trade ties can be as close as possible, but not at the expense of the single market. It offers way more business opportunities for Germany than the UK alone 